with fever for two and a half weeks. Does this qualify for fever or not? Why not? I see, I see someone shaking his head. Please, why not? So does this qualify as PU or not two and a half weeks? He has been seen by more than doctors. Two and a half. Okay, I used to be two weeks now, I think it's three weeks, so two and a half. Delivery make it two and a half weeks. I'm not seeing my mother, okay, we get four and a half weeks then. See my mother with doctors. So, um, if a video is a video, what are your first thoughts? I never ask people questions because there's no need to, to ask people questions because we don't know how to answer it, even if it's easy. When you encounter a patient with PUO, what are your first thoughts? Thoughts, what would you like to exclude? I'm, I'm glad to have at least finally get a good answer. There's infection. If the patient happens to be a girl, you also think about autoimmune disorders. Okay. And then if the patient's elderly like me, what? Yes, but not me. Okay, but even if you're in a girl or old elderly subject, you still think of infection first. Medical tips to fever of unknown origin. Definition of PUO, a fever of 38.3 degrees Celsius or more, lasting for at least three weeks, for which no cause can be identified. After three days of investigation in hospital or after three or more outpatient visits. Causes of PUO, malignancy, autoimmune, infection, drug. If you have difficulty in generating differential diagnosis, I suggest you ask your mate M A I D M for malignancy, A for autoimmune, I for infection, D for drug. These are some of the causes listed in the causes of PUO. Recommendations for further reading: a clinical review article in BMJ 2010, investigating and managing pyrexia of unknown origin in adults. Thank you for joining Professor Lai Qinglong Medical Teaching Sections. See you next time.